Matthew chapter 20, Jesus called them together. I, I know we've got this. There it is. Uh, one another. Jesus called them together and said, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them. This is what the world is like. High officials are exercising their authority over other people. Not with you, beloved, says Jesus. You're going to be different. It's called servant leadership. Instead, Jesus said, you want to become great? The one who wants to become great must be a servant of all. You want to be first? Then you've got to be a slave of other people. Last. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. Uh, this is a sublime passage, beloved. And to give his life as a ransom for many. When the Apostle Paul tried to credential himself to anyone, if he ever introduced himself to anybody via a, an epistle, a letter, or just maybe introducing himself in the marketplace, this is what Paul always said of himself. I'm Paul. Then what? A doulos. This, this was his goal in life, to be a servant, to be a slave of Jesus Christ. And how will you know, beloved, that you are finally a servant of Jesus Christ when people start treating you like a servant and it doesn't bother you anymore? I don't know about you, but there are times in my life where, uh, uh, where it's difficult to be a servant. But then I look at Jesus. As my brother Mark Waltz told me one time many years ago, and I've never forgotten it, you know, what, you know what Jesus was really like? He said, Jesus would never have worn a rubber wristband that said, what would I do? It's pretty good, isn't it? He was always about other people. He was the most humble, self-effacing, giving person who ever walked the planet. And if you want to name the name Jesus and say you're his follower, then shouldn't we be also uh, serving other people? Your attitude should be the same as that of Jesus Christ. I don't, I don't know the tune to this song, but that's the first song. Uh, history tells us the first song the early church sang. In the, in the first century of the church, when it would meet in the catacombs, uh, the, uh, to the tombs underneath the uh, streets of Rome, or it would meet in, uh, in houses hidden away from, uh, uh, from the authorities, they would sing this song, your attitude should be that as of Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not count equality with God something to be grasped or held onto. But made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a doula, is Jesus. And so Paul writes to the Galatian church, stop being so uppity. It's not about you. Life is not about you. There is a room for people that want to be alone. The me room. You, my brothers and sisters, he said, were called to be free in Christ. But don't use your freedom as an opportunity to be selfish, to indulge your sinful nature. Instead, use your freedom in Christ to serve one another in love, to serve one another. Over and over again in the Bible, Romans chapter 12, verse 10, uh, it, uh, it tells us uh, to, honor, to honor one another above other people. It tells us to be devoted to one another. Uh, Ephesians uh, 4, chapter 2, uh, in Ephesians 4, 2, it tells us to, to love one another. In Ephesians 5, 1, it says submit to one another. Colossians 3, 13, uh, forgive one another. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, uh, verse 11, encourage one another. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse, verse 9, offer hospitality to one another. The whole book of 1 John, love one another, love one another, love one another. You think God's trying to get the phrase one another into our hearts? Uh, in the end, it's all about one another. 